Good evening, aliens. You're here to stick it to the man. Nice to see a potential Prime Minister in the wings coming along to one of these gigs. As we say in the poetry business, shit fucking hot. Oh man, you're not like talking to a room full of literary people, I'll tell you. It's like they're tearing you apart already. Stick it to the man. So, good evening. I am here tonight to, saw, to serve for you all a very small but important function. You can look upon me tonight as a kind of a intergenerational bridge, uh, a lightning rod, maybe a conduit or a drain <laughs> through which love and affection and pride may pass tonight totally unhindered. When I look around this room tonight, I see not an industry, although music, the actual biz of music, like its distant cousin literature, it is a business. But when I look around this room tonight, I see, yes, uh, annual gathering of industry people and musicians, but more importantly, tonight in particular, I see a reunion of a community of musicians and friends who over a very, very long period of time have become a family and an extended whanau of sorts. Ngāti Pākehā, if you want to put it that way. It's hard to believe. It's hard to believe it's taken so long for this award to be presented to the Queen. But you don't get into the Hall of Fame by being a Johnny-come-lately, flash-in-the-pan, one-hit wonder musician, I'll tell you. It does not work out like that. For the Queen to be inducted tonight, it's an important act, not only of recognition by their peers and contemporaries, but it's finally a small and grudging acceptance by the industry of a curious branch of the New Zealand music family, a strange distant cousin. You never had much to do when you were younger, but somehow over time they made their own communities and circles of creative talent in a town far away from Auckland called Dunedin. I don't believe we're just awarding some gongs to the clean here tonight. I think we're acknowledging that branch of the New Zealand music family, which we now know historically as the Dunedin Sound. A brand new at the time, but curious combo of jangly pop, strange tempos, and deeply felt attitudes. It's an aesthetic, and it's an approach that owes more than a passing nod to the heritage of the late 70s and the early 80s, of just do it yourself, of lo-fi recordings and a punk rock attitude that said, just get on with it. The Clean have now influenced a couple of generations of musicians, both here and abroad, not just because of their unique approach to the art of performing and recording, but also as a result of their very humble attitudes to fame and success, and for their desire to be a band of principle and ethic. The Clean were never a band to shamelessly blow their own trumpet, although I did hear a trumpet be blown once on a song called Getting Older. Now, many people in this room tonight, in fact, possibly all of us in this room tonight, owe more than a passing thanks to The Clean a band which, of course, has inspired many younger musicians who followed in their footsteps, footsteps to pick up an instrument and make their own explorations into the world of sound. The Cleans were, and still are, a totally unpretentious band. The body of work generated by the individual members over the last 35 years is actually mind-bogglingly large. And between them, 
the musicians that we are honouring tonight have played in a great number of other bands and followed their own very successful creative solo paths. The Clean are a band of innovators and the Clean are a band who forged a whole new world of New Zealand music. We were now going to watch a wonderful cinemagraphic tribute to the Clean created by Mr. Stuart Page. Please be patient. I knew that we had something absolutely unique here. I knew right from the moment that the Clean had something absolutely remarkable. Like the first day I got my bass, for instance, I wrote point that thing. We played at one of the first enemy gigs at the Beneficiaries Hall. That was the clean, along with Doug who was told to sing. I don't think I was asked to join, I think it was just they needed somebody to sing and there was nobody else. I left, or rather got booted out of the clean. Snapper. I liked I liked Snapper an awful lot. I, I thought Snapper was really shit hot action. Chris Knox's favourite band. He rated The Clean as the best band in the world. He said it quite a few times. And the night before, we flew in at yeah. nine or ten. In a storm. And Hamish, yeah. a horrendous storm. Hamish picked us up and we just we drove out in an old car. Yeah, went to this cheap, cheap motel and just we were buggered, so we just went to bed. And then Hamish banged on the door in the morning. Wake up, the world's on fire. Yeah, because I was like half asleep waking up and I heard a heard a bang and like I guess that was the, the first one. And then we went up to the roof of your apartment and then the second one. We were probably the first band to actually do a gig in the midst of that, mm. and it was like a musical benefit for the Shell Shock. It was like we were down the war zone basically doing a gig, you know? It was like, I guess it was sort of like Berlin after a bombing or something. <laughs>
gives me a great deal of pleasure tonight to ask you all to put your hands together and welcome the clean to come and receive their awards. I wrote something today, so I'll <laughs> might as well say it. Um, watching that video, this isn't what I wrote, but um, that Raglan gig, I can't remember a second of it, but it looked like it was really good. Um, and we look a wee bit younger there as well, which is understandable. Um, overall, playing with this guy and the other guy who's somewhere around, has been, for me, um, uh, life-changing. It's been amazing. So I'm going off script, but um, it's great to see all you guys here. So many cool people, so many friends. And that's what music is all about. And... Ah, oh, good. Yeah. Good timing, man. I just flew in from New York City and boy, my arm's tired. Okay, I'll, I'll finish up. Um, yeah. Thanks a lot, everyone. Love you. you, Okay. Thank you, Bob. Okay. Thank you for <laughs> and Peter. That's why Jack is here as well. So thank you so much. It's very special. <laughs> yeah. I'd just like to thank you all for acknowledging you know, Peter's part in the beginning of the clean and you know, in the history ever since. So thanks very much. Well, super cool, gold, fake gold, seashell, yeah, all right, thank you, everybody, I just want to say thank you to everyone here and everybody in Dunedin, every living soul, and animal, and fishes, and all that stuff. 